Uh, hi everyone, in the last video we talked about how to generate a random number. Uh, here we will talk about how to generate a random walk. Uh, so let me give you a little brief introduction to the random numbers again. So to generate a random number in Excel, we will write uh, is equal to R A N D in parenthesis. So that will give me a number between 0 to 1. Uh, now uh, if I want a number from minus 1 to 1 then instead of uh, R A N D I will say uh, 1 minus 2 into R A N D and if I do that it will give me a number between minus 1 to 1 right so if I copy this number again in the second um, column and then I copy the same uh, numbers again and again uh, until uh, around uh, 1000 points right now if I go back up again so these are the random numbers and suppose if this is a x-axis and this is y-axis then uh, I can do a plot and select both and say scatter plot so now you can see that these numbers are completely random between minus 1 and 1 both on x-axis and y-axis so this is the these are the points which are plotted on a 2d graph now uh, I'll delete this graph and I'll go back here no so my purpose is to uh, generate a random walk so for that one what I'll do is I'll uh, use name the first axis as dx and the second axis as dy so these are dx and dy and we start with x and y and we consider x to be 0 and y to be 0 so because we are starting from the center or let's start from the origin so you can always change this number it doesn't have to start from 0 but this is just a uh, example here so now what I'll do is here I'll say uh, x which is the initial position plus delta x delta x the change uh, what kind of steps uh, we will be taking so I'll say uh, enter right and then I'll take the same formula here so here it says uh, the first step is a random number plus the initial position so that's our first step now if you want to do a second step I'll drag this down here so you can see the second step is it starts from first step which is uh, says uh, d3 and then it adds a random number into it again so it says that uh, I know where my position is but I don't know where my next position is so I'll just uh, add a random uh, direction into it in the x-axis and same way I'll say I'll generate a number and I'll go into the y-axis as again a random number and then I will keep doing this so what I need to do to keep doing this is just like these two cells uh, bring the cursor on the corner and press uh, double click and it will just drag uh, the same formula uh, until the end right so we are not using this two random numbers so I can delete this so now you can see that if I click on this again and again the random numbers will change and now let's see if I plot this what will happen so I will say insert and then this so now you can see that this is how the curves look like so instead of uh, uh, scatter plot I need to use a line here so if I use a line say uh, change chart type and uh, I'll use a line here so, this is a line. so now you can see this is a random box so if I click double click on this again and press enter now it changes if I double click on it and then press enter so you can see it starts from zero then it goes in negative direction uh, uh, in the x-axis and post in the y-axis and then goes back again and then moves so it's 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 very random so if I click on this again and do this again so now you can see that each time I do this uh, the movement is different so this is also called uh, Brownian motion and uh, random number is also another uh, popular terms for it so now what I can do is I can copy the same formula same everything and paste it here so if I do this what will happen is that uh, I have 
on same thing but uh, I have uh, uh, another series of X and Y and I can plot this on this uh, same graph so what I need to do is uh, select data and say add and then I'll say X axis uh, to be this it starts from here it goes until here and then y axis is this starts from here go into here and if i do this then i have two random walks on the same graph so now you can see that i have two random walks on the same graph and they were different colors so you can see that this uh, if, I, if i click on enter and then say so each time the walks are random and they are independent of each other you can see so now because i started one of them at zero and another both of them are starting from zero so let's see what happen if i start another one at some other point so i will write a hundred here and then you can see that if i do this these two are starting way far from each other and they never touch each other right so they're almost far from each other but if i bring them closer right at 50 here then you can see yeah closer but still they're not overlapping and let me say 20 here and 40 here and now you can see so we can do all kind of simulations and uh, random walk simulation using the excel sheet and it's a very visual and you can also see all the simulation steps in front of you all the calculation in front of you so it's very easy uh, to track any mistake if any you have done so uh, if i just plot the x-axis then you will see like suppose if i'm doing the troubleshooting so you need to first make sure that the both random numbers you are generating they are completely random and that's true when i plot them you can see that the, all the numbers are random and they do lie in the range we want them and if i plot the x-axis by itself then i it should be like a random walk in two dimensions so that is also true so you can see that uh, the x the x-axis is in random walk so if i click again so it it goes but it's in one dimension and same goes if i drag the same uh, graph for y-axis then y-axis is also a random walk so so this is the troubleshooting you can do if you are unable to generate this but i hope uh, this is a very simple tutorial and you should be able to uh, follow the steps and generate uh, this simulation and uh, i think it's a lot of fun and uh, please uh, don't hesitate to give your comments or email me with any questions if you have any problems generating this uh, walk and uh, we will go next uh, and uh, uh, understand the concepts of Monte Carlo simulation and how uh, these uh, random walks uh, are, are useful uh, to get something useful or simulate something which is more closer to life uh, and I'll see you again thank you